Hey everyone, Benz95, back with part two of my uh, series of music finds uh, for the year end. And um, I'm going to show you my CDs now. So uh, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the first CD I'm going to show you is by Nine Inch Nails. This is uh, their debut album, Pretty Hate Machine. And this album features uh, the song um, Head Like a Hole as well as some other really good songs like um, <clears throat> uh, Down In It, um, Kinda I Want To, and uh, The Only Time. Some great industrial rock, um, electronic rock, and uh, so, you know, synth-driven dance, alternative dance music, you know, it's, uh, it's really good stuff from Trent Reznor. So I'm happy to have that. Next is by Uriah Heep. This is 20th Century Masters, the best of Uriah Heep. It's a good uh, compilation by this, uh, you know, uh, heavy metal progressive rock band from the 1970s. Features about a dozen of their most well-known songs, uh, two in particular that I'm familiar with out of the uh, the dozen, uh, The Wizard and uh, Easy Living. So I'm happy to have that as well. And uh, Aerosmith, Done With Mirrors. This is considered to be their, um, you know, comeback album from 1985, but, you know, Aerosmith doesn't really consider this to be their comeback album. This is, in their opinion, considered to be somewhat their... They would consider this to be their semi-comeback album. Their real comeback album in their minds is uh, their follow-up, which is Permanent Vacation. But, uh, you know, in my opinion, I think this is just a great album through and through. Uh, Let the Music Do the Talking, which was a song that Joe Perry did on his uh, uh, solo album of the same name. My Fist, Your Face, Shame on You, The Reason a Dog, Sheila, Gypsy Boots, She's on Fire, The Hop, Darkness, just really good hard rock music. Um, this was produced by Ted Templeman, who uh, produced Van Halen, uh, Montrose, and um, the Doobie Brothers. So yeah, really happy to have that. The New York Dolls, 20th Century Masters, the best of the New York Dolls. Essentially, this is just, you know, all their best songs that were from uh, their only two albums that they had released in their career. Well, in the 1970s. And um, so basically, um, someone would say, if someone said to you, like, if there really was anything to get from the New York Dolls, they would be saying, you're better off getting, you know, their two albums. Well, to me, I would get those on vinyl, but... Um, if there really was anything I wanted to get on CD to be satisfied with, it would be this. Uh, this features some um, personality crisis, looking for a kiss, trash, pills, jet boy, uh, Lone Star Queen, ba Babylon, Stra uh, Stranded in the Jungle, Puss in Boots, uh, Don't Start Me Talking, and there's going to be a showdown. So yeah, happy to have some good old glam rock. Next is another by Soundgarden. This is Louder Than Love. And this is the last album to feature their original bass player, Hiro Yamamoto, before he was replaced by Jason Everman, who briefly was with the band, and then he was fired uh, not long after, and then replaced by Ben Shepard, who became their permanent uh, bass player. And um, yeah, um, this is a good album. Uh, you know, it's not their greatest, but it's still a good listen. And, um, yeah, I'm really happy to have some more by Soundgarden. Next is a gift I got for Christmas. This is the Beatles Anniversary 3 CD edition of the White Album, featuring the Escher demos. And I was uh, pleasantly surprised at uh, what I found out when I was reading about the track listing uh, for the Escher demos. I found out that... Um, Two tracks that would end up on um, Abbey Road were on here. Um, mean Mr. Mustard and Paul Fiend Pam. So, uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to hearing what that sounded like, as well as uh, some other songs like uh, 
sour milk C, junk, um, child of nature, circles, not guilty, and what's the new Mary Jane? So yeah, I'm really looking forward to listening to that when I get the chance. And uh, the final CD I have here is by a Canadian band called Slow. And this is Against the Glass. Slow are a uh, band out of Vancouver, and they were um, an, an early influence on uh, the grunge music scene out of Seattle. Would make sense since, you know, Vancouver is near Seattle. I don't think they were sound-wise uh, an early influence on grunge. Maybe I'm wrong, you know, correct me if I'm wrong. But I know that, uh, you know, uh, image-wise they were. And uh, this song has... Um, couple really good tracks on it um, I mean they're all really good songs but a couple really good highlights off this are uh, have not been the same and I broke the circle so uh, yeah some really good punk rock from the 1980s uh, Canadian punk rock music and this is a reissue from last year from artifact records so yeah that pretty much does it for my CDs now on to the gifts I got for Christmas but before I begin I'm just gonna show you a book I got it uh, Summertime. This is uh, 50 Years of Led Zeppelin, the complete story of Classic Rock's Ultimate Band. And this was only on the newsstands and in magazine stores, uh, or bookstores, for a very short period of time. And um, for those who had gotten this book as well, you know, props to you. Um, basically, it just tells the story of Led Zeppelin uh, at, from just a condensed version of Zeppelin's history. It talks about the, uh, the band... Uh, members, uh, album by album. Um, I'll show you some photos. Here's a show, here's a, here's a, a show from around maybe 69. Talks about some other stuff in between that. Here's a photo of Jimmy Page and his, uh, Double-necked uh, six and twelve string Gibson F uh, Gibson uh, SG. Here's an example of album by album talking about Led Zeppelin four or Untitled or whatever you want to call it. All the details, the release date, title track, and units sold. Talks about Robert Plant. And yeah, a whole bunch of other stuff. So this is a really nice book. Nice collector's book. Uh, now on to Christmas gifts. Uh, this book I'm really happy to have gotten for Christmas. Um, the Complete Hypnosis Catalog Vinyl Album Cover Art. Uh, by Aubrey Powell, forwarded by Peter Gabriel. Back cover, the front cover, of course, is Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here. Back cover is uh, an album by uh, XTC. This is Go To. And I'm going to show you a few photos, a few examples of some some incredible art by artwork by uh, Hypnosis. This one, of course, being one of my favorites, um, Pink Floyd Animals. It's the first page here. show you that one because there's a bit of nudity in that uh, let's see oh this one this is the house on the hill by audience electric warrior by t-rex the classic Pink Floyd Dark Side of the Moon of course the inner gatefold um, let's see if I can find a 
find that other one. Oh, Pretty Things, Silk Torpedo. Not a great album, but uh, I think it's quite good in my opinion, but it's a very nice album cover. The original soundtrack by uh, 10 CC. Oh, this is another really awesome cover. Venus and Mars by Paul McCartney and Wings. I love that album cover. It's very simplistic, but yet very nice. And I don't even know what the hell this is. That cover. I cannot explain to you that one. The Winkies. I don't think I can put into much detail. At least they're not full-on naked. Because that's full-on disturbing as it is. Yeah, um, those are just some of the few examples, I guess. Oh, this one, of course, I love as well. Deceptive Bends by 10CC. This is a great album and also a great cover. So I'm just going to finish off with that. But yeah, um, to, to really d explain this album uh, cover art book, um, I haven't gone through it all, but I know that um, in general, um, hypnosis are known for being just an incredible um, company that have made some incredible artwork for incredible artists, you know, incredible musicians. Because the musicians, they bring, you know, the ear candy, while hypnosis bring the eye candy. You know, uh, Storm Thurgason, the late Storm Thurgason and company really delivered some great eye-catching artwork. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to get this book. So, really happy to have it. Oops. And finally, we have uh, another calendar by Rush. This is uh, celebrating the 35th anniversary of Grace Under Pressure. Really happy to have this because they're all my they're my all time favorite band and I just love getting rush calendars. So that pretty much does it for my video. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, let me know what you think, and I'll be back in the new year with some new videos. Um, I'm probably gonna do a series of uh, music documentary um, reviews, which I had planned on doing um, earlier on, but I had scrapped it so. I had put it aside, so uh, I'm going to go revisit that in the new year at some point. But um, yeah, I'm also going to, you know, show some records um, or some, some more music stuff. Whenever I'm whenever I going to get my hands on some more music, I'm going to show you um, in the uh, near future. So uh, thanks for watching, um, and I, I hope you, you all had a great Christmas, and um, I'm wishing you all a happy new year. So, um, I'll see you next time. Bye.